My agent said, look, there's, they're, they're making this film of Lord of the Rings down in New Zealand, and they'd like to see for a, for, for a digital character's voice. And I was like, Jesus, there must be like 12 or 13 great parts in that movie. Can't you get me up for something good? You know, I mean, there must be, some, there must be an, an acting role in there. And then, so I had no idea. I really didn't understand the, what, what was behind that. I didn't, anyway, it turns out it was Gollum. It was Gollum. And uh, I was like, that's a great character. I'm not really the sort of actor who just can pull out a voice. It's not how I work. I've never done that before in my life. I didn't know how to do that. But I was inspired by, by, by my cat, who was called Diz at the time, who, uh, who actually, whilst I was trying to figure out how to make a voice which came from a physicality, which came from a psychological center of being, uh, you know, guilt-driven and where's the pain of this character, um, I, I thought, well, it's trapped in his throat. He's called Gollum because of the way he sounds. He, I've got to do something that makes like, the voice sound kind of, that it's coming from a physicality. Uh, my cat came in and literally coughed up a furball in front of me. <laughs> And, and gospel truth, this is absolutely true. I, I watched his back rippling and I just thought, that's brilliant. I really like that. I love this. I love this. And then he started to go, bleh, 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 bleh. I thought, that's even better. I like this disc. Bring it, bring it on, bring it on. And then he went, bleh. no, he didn't do that. He didn't. But that's how I got the voice. And then I, I auditioned.